morning everybody welcome to the channel saturday the 2nd of november and we're going for a little cub ride now a change to the uh, advertised thing i was going to do um have i changed it yeah getting a bit confused now <laughs> yeah i was going to go to uh, for a cup of coffee at the cafe at devil's bridge via elan valley and all that nice stuff around there but um i've had to nip into town do some stuff it's not me back time wise and i've got stuff to do this afternoon so change of plan i'm going to see somebody who i haven't seen for bloody years up in uh, montgomery or just outside montgomery the other side of church that we're in between church stoke and montgomery um haven't seen him for years so i'm going to nip out on the cub he's he hasn't seen the cub yet and he, he'd like to see it so I'm going to take a nice little casual trundle over there. No dramas, no dramas, certainly no dramas. So I'm not quite sure if there's going to be any interesting footage or not. Certainly nothing like um, bloody Marlborough. <laughs> um, not sure what to say about the bike. Um, after the Marlborough incident, I did think I, I did say that I'd bent one of my stands. I haven't. It was just me being a bit of a girt knobber. Um, what else? Helmet's all clean. Took it all out and washed it after it fell in the bloody puddle. Um, no, that's it really. It's all going well. And in other news, stay tuned for some breaking news, rather exciting news. New motorbike day. Video coming soon. Right, in a bit, peeps. Right then, let's go. After me kicking the ass out of this bike, wondering why it wouldn't start. Turned the fuel off, didn't I? What a bloody idiot, Andy boy. Bloody hell. Right, let's go to Coombe Cycles, drop some stuff off, and then we'll head off to see Sandy by Montgomery. Just thought I'd drop a little bit of uh, Hereford footage into the video feature. Quite a nice chippy that. Nice chips. As you can see, I am not using memory map today. I'm using the free Amigo Satnav. Because Sandy gave me his what three words. Heading up Wide Marsh Street now. Wide Marsh Street, ladies and gentlemen. Wide Marsh Street. Right, approaching Coombe Cycles. They're doing a bit of work for me on one of the bikes. So, uh, gonna drop some stuff off for them. Delivery made. Let's go and see Sandy. Good job his name's his second name isn't Balls. All right then, boys, let's go. I put the uh, the road tyres back on and a new one on the back. Originally it had a 2.5 which was narrow as hell so I put a 3.0 on there So we should be able to get some good uh, knee down action and scrape those pedals with some decent sticky rubber on Awesome! Yep. Right, just leaving Hereford now I'm going to take the uh, the scenic routes of Montgomery rather than go up the A49 So this is the, uh, the A4110, okay. the Cannon Pine Road Go the nice back roads, get a bit of scenery going on Overcast, hope we don't get any rain, it's not forecast, but I have bought a new uh, orange Joy Boy suit, 3XL, to give me that um, movement with all the clothes, you know, the layers on, so I don't snap the zip again. Of 
village of Cannon Pine, there's the Nags Head Club. Cannon Pine Newtown. Right, come to a sharp bend now, we'll try these tyres out and get the knee down. Oh yeah, right on the edge there, right on the limit. Nice one, Andy boy. <laughs> Little village of Kingsland. The main village is over there. This is kind of like, this is the, uh, the Kingsland bypass, if you like. <laughs> and we will soon be going across the site of the, uh, the site of the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the Battle of Mortimer's Cross, War of the Roses, 1463, I think, where the Yorkists won. Boo! There you go, we got the bloody, uh, the old timers brigade out on their road bicycles about to piss everyone off just through Kingsland now and the Battle of Mortimer's Cross War of the Roses 1463 I think it took place all over there big heavy losses for the Lancastrians Yorkists won but it's all over there that must have been something to behold. The noise, the smell, not good. People hacking themselves to bits with sharp, pointy metal things. So just past the battlefield, and there's a house here. That one there, that white house, it's called Blue Mantle. That road there, by the way, is the old, the original Hereford Road. That house there is called Blue Mantle, and it's got a little sign, Tudor Rose, Tudor White and Red Rose on the, on the gate, and apparently, that was there um, in 1463 when the battle was kicking off the blue mantle so yeah I did some googling and yeah it was there coming into Wigmore now Wigmore I'm surprised why uh, Wigmore stayed so small because it's on the back in the day it was on a major crossing point and when you get a major crossing point, you get a settlement, a town springs up because of all the crossing passing trade. And especially Wigmore had quite an important castle. It just never became anything other than what it is. But further to my east, you've got Ludlow with a very important castle, it did spring up to be uh, a big town. So it's funny how things turn out. It's funny. The castle is up on the hill there. Coming into a little village called Lentwoodine now. There used to be a Roman settlement here back in the day. It's only a small place. I'm sure that pub, just the other side of the bridge, the lion, I think that was the first time I ever had um, twice fried chips. They were bloody lovely. <laughs> That was Lemmerdine, ladies and gentlemen. Now we're turning left. Raven Arms. Heading for Hopton Heath and Bucknell now. Hopton Woods over there. We've got the Pier Cycle cross, Red Cross Country Loop, which is really good. And all the downhill tracks. I haven't been there for a while, so I need to revisit Hops and Woods sometime. Shrub says to Sestershire, England. Right, this is Hopton Heath. Mud on the road. It always makes me smile, that mud on the road. I half expect to see the band Mud on the road playing Tiger Feet. Oh, that's neat, that's neat, that's neat, that's neat. I really love your Tiger Feet. Alright, so we're heading off for Hopton Heath, Clun, Bishop's Castle. Woods MTB, you go straight on down there. 
but we are going down here, Andy boy. Got a bit more drizzle coming down now. Bloody hell, bloody, bloody weather. Let's get some air between the tyres. Awesome, got it sideways as well. Pretty gnarly, dude. Heading for Bishop's Castle and then we should be heading through Bishop's Castle on our way to Montgomery. Oh, I know where we are. Craven Arms is just down there. Yeah, Kempton. Yeah, I know where we are. Little village of Lidbury North. Lidbury North, ladies and gentlemen. Not a great deal here, apart from a man with an old greyhound and a church and a pub, I think. The Powys Arms. That was Lidbury North, ladies and gentlemen. This is Bishop's Castle now, everybody. Bishop's Castle. Now, I thought we were going to go straight on, but we're not. We're turning right here, Andy boy. I don't know why it's called Bishop's Castle, because I don't think there was a bishop, and I don't think he had a castle. Or well, not a castle fitting of a bishop. Anyway. I tell a lie, we are going to go through Bishop's Castle, we're just coming at it from a different direction. This is Bull Lane, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Bull Lane. Montgomery, nine miles. Nice bit of viewage down there, Pete. Back into Shropshire, Shire. Church Stoke up there. And up there is my favourite drive on the way to Mahonkwath and Dargeth Line. My Sandy is just up here somewhere. Right, he's somewhere in these group of houses. I got my what three words, so let's go and find him. I'll see you on the drive back. Right, we're leaving Sandy's now. I had a lovely catch up with Sandy. I haven't seen him for bloody ages. So Sandy, if you ever watch this, it was bloody ace. See you soon. Right, we're gonna go back the normal way on the main roads. So we're going to go through Church Stoke, then Craven Arms, heading for the A49. I've had to put another layer on my body because it's a bit cold coming up here. And I put another a pair of waterproof over trousers on because it was a bit chilly on the old legs. And I feel lovely and lovely now, lovely and lovely, lovely and warm, Andy Boy. This is us coming into Church Stoke now. Church Stoke, ladies and gentlemen, Church Stoke. All right, boys, you're coming back into Powys now, tidy. Turn left for Welsh Pool, and we go round here. 
Montgomery Water over there. That's a bit like Peckham Spring, but Montgomery Walker Water. Church Stoke Shopping Centre. Bishop's Castle and that's the way we came up and then turned up this way we're going back down here yeah them sticky tyres are working well foot pegs were scraping then Right, this is a little village of Aston on Clun, home of the famous Arbor Tree. The Arbor Tree has got that thing with all the flags on it, and I haven't got a clue what that is all about. Apparently, it's world famous. It's a tree with flags on it. The Kangaroo Inn, not named after a bouncy animal, but named after a boat. The SS Kangaroo. Coming into Craven Arms, ladies and gentlemen, Craven Arms. This is one of those towns that sprung up on a crossroads. There's nothing here, so I don't know why it sprung up on... There's nothing at Craven Arms. There is no point of Craven Arms. No point of? There is no point to Craven Arms. Craven Arms, there is no point. Right, we'll pick up the A49 now. Back to Hereford. We've got Stokesy Castle over there. Stokesy or Stokesy. I think it's one of the best um, Tudor houses fortified houses and as much as I love history and all that malarkey I still haven't been there I need to pull my finger out and get to Stokesy Castle over there Onibury Railroad Crossing Onibury, Onibury Railroad Crossing oh, I've run the Leinster Bypass now not been anything too exciting to video on the way back so apart from some traffic lights here which is awesome we've got the caravan club over there I'll tell you the sights of the caravan club are going well down get the knee down Andy boy got the roundabout and these new sticky tyres Right, we're back, turning off the A49. Drop cold, it has dropped a bit cold. And I'm bloody starving as well. All right, boys, shift your asses, I'm coming through, yeah? Final leaves, skiddy leaves. Dear me. Right, let's go and get sorted out and do the piece to camera afterwards because Jackie has got some friends around and I need to show my face and go, all right boys, how's it, how's it going now? Tidy. <laughs> right, it's the day after the Sandy ride. I'm back. Had a few things to do when I got back, so I didn't have to do it. Didn't have time to do a piece to camera to close the video. But yeah, no dramas. Nice to see Sandy. Bike was going well and I can say it handles a lot better on the tarmac than it does <laughs> on the uh, Marlborough greasy mud. So that's the uh, the new rear tyre I got for it. It's a 300 by 17. It's a Cougar from Preston in Lancashire, England. Uh, yeah, much better than the uh, the original one, which was like that thin, a 2.5. Ooh, a bit of mud. Um, yeah, that's it, really. It's all good. 
nice little, like I say, nice little ride. Good to see Sandy. It was bloody cold. But I'm going to uh, wind up and do some other stuff now. And until the next random content, which is going to be, I do not know, but it might be the breaking news special. So you have to stay tuned for that one. Until that happens...